Before you go any further in this video, it is a paid app you have to use. So the app itself is $9.99. It's called Duet and it's pretty amazing. I'm using it every single day and it's well worth the $9.99. If it's something you don't want to pay for, then fair enough. And it's something you're not going to use on the daily. Maybe it's not worth it. But for someone like me, I'm going to be using this all the time. Before I show you how to set it up, I'm going to run you through a few of the things that I use this for and the applications for this, this uh, app. Does that make sense? So for me, I'm editing a lot. I am photo editing a lot. I am video editing a lot. I am live streaming a lot. So this is going to come in really, really handy. The first thing that I'm going to be using it for is editing. So you can, in Premiere Pro, you can undock your certain scenes that you've got in the actual editing program. I'm gonna undock my program sequence. So that is the final edit in like a window that you see when you're playing it through in playback. And I'd like to have that on a separate window. So that is my first application for this app. I'm gonna undock that in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna drag it over to the iPad so it's always there rather than having it in a separate screen and having to stack different things on top of each other in Premiere Pro, I can have it in a separate screen, which is awesome. Also with the iPad, especially the iPad Pro, the screen is a retina screen and it's gonna be far better than any of the monitors that I own. So for color grading and for just checking your effects and adding LUTs and stuff onto your footage, you're gonna get a far accurate picture on the iPad than you would on any of the monitors that I own at the moment anyway. So for color grading, it's, it's massive. I'm using it for that within Premiere Pro and that's fantastic. A nice little segue to editing. If you're a photo editor, there's no other better thing I think at the moment for editing your photos on than the iPad. So you can run your Lightroom program on the PC and have it displayed on the iPad for the uh, color correction and stuff like that and checking the exposure. It's far more accurate, like I said, than any of the monitors I own. So for photo editing, I'm gonna be using it as well. I'll simply start the program in um, on the PC, start up Lightroom and then drag the thing onto the 13 inch iPad Pro that I've got at the moment, the 2019 version. So that is my second application. The third one would be for live streaming where um, I can have the chat pop up on the iPad. So I'm here, I'm live streaming, I'm talking to you guys. I've got OBS there, I've got the internet loaded up for different screens I wanna share during the live stream. And then over here, I'm gonna have the live, the, uh, live chat uh, pop up on the right hand side there so I can check it and it's always on the screen So I'm not going to miss any chat comments. Those are just three things you can use the application for and like I said It's amazing. It's well worth the money for me I'm gonna be using it for the foreseeable future for definite until maybe I'll get like a multi-screen setup here but as you know if you're a regular viewer of this channel we're in the process of making the studio a little better and I'm just dragging my heels a little bit. So for the moment, this is a fantastic application. You might say Xander, but you can already use Sidecar on Apple Mac. Yeah, sure. Yes, you can, but I haven't got an Apple Mac. I've got a PC. This works with both PC and iOS. You can use Sidecar with your iOS. If you've got a Mac and an iPad, you can do the Sidecar thing, but you can't unless you've got an up-to-date iPad or iMac. Before, if you've got an iMac or a MacBook Pro that's pre-2016, Sidecar doesn't work. And if you've got an older iPad, for instance, it's not going to be compatible with Sidecar. So this, again, is going to help you in that situation if you are one of those people who has got older Mac products. You can now actually have this as a Sidecar alternative. The Duet screen app is your go-to, and it's definitely something I'm going to be using going forward. Uh, right, so setting up Duet is very, very easy. All you have to do is uh, download the Duet Display app on iOS or Android. First of all, go and do that. Um, just, just download the app onto your phone. Then you go to duetdisplay.com and download the Windows software client onto... Um, I don't want to do it now because I've already done it. Download the Windows or Mac OS um, software client and then it will be um, downloaded as a shortcut onto your home screen and then it's very very simple um, and what we have to do is just go to the Duet app and we have to connect your iOS device to the computer right next step is not to lose your Apple pencil but connect the iPad 
to the computer by obviously if you've got a older iPad or iPad Air or just a normal iPad it's going to be the USB 3 connector but I've got the iPad Pro so it's USB-C luckily I have got a USB-C port on my computer so we're going to plug it in to that if you haven't then I presume that you'll be able to get a USB-C to USB 3 adapter and it'll work that way let's plug it in um, you probably will get a pop-up saying trust this computer on your iPad and just make sure you trust that and you'll have to put in your security code just like so. Then we're going to go to the Duet app and then we're just going to go into Duet, load it up and it's launching Duet and it should connect to your computer. Yep. On your computer, you'll have some display settings come up. You can change the frame rate, you can change the performance. Um, I'll just keep it on um, pixel perfect because I want the, the, best, uh, the best picture. You can change the resolution if you want to, but it's simple as that. Once you've got it all set up, um, you just plug it in and it just displays your display like that. And then if I go to, I'll show you just quickly um, on the screen, I shall sort of unlink, undock a panel uh, in Premiere Pro and then drag it across the screen like this and then I'm dragging it over to the iPad just like that and this is my program sequence that I'm gonna have in Premiere Pro and when you're playing um, a sequence I shall show you there is absolutely no lag as well so let me just um, let me just import some footage and then the timeline as you can see so as I hit play it plays immediately on the iPad. There's no lag, there's no um, latency in it. It's playing back in real time. And obviously because you're using the Retina display on the iPad, it looks pretty damn, <laughs> pretty damn good as well. And yeah, very happy with it. It's an app that I'm gonna be using a lot of the time. So I've got this set up now, I'm editing there, I've got my computer there and I've got the iPad there just to check everything. And it's like you can surround yourself and your work. It's fantastic, it really is. So that is how to connect your iPad to your PC and use it as a second or third monitor. It's very, very easy. It is a paid app, obviously, but I think it's well worth the 999 you're gonna pay for it. Um, if you, Especially if you're one of those Mac customers that can't use Sidecar, um, it's, it's definitely worth it. So yeah, go and check it out, Duet Display. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.